I am so thankful for all the viewers, people who watch my videos, support my channel. And in this video, I have some huge announcements. I'm gonna be restructuring things and hopefully it means more content for the viewers and content that they'll like better. I also want to announce that our botfly has hatched. It's merged as an adult. If you don't know what I'm talking about, over five months ago, I posted a video of a botfly maggot and I asked people to name it. I had a contest, I received over 6,000 comments of people wanting to name this nasty parasite. And we've been rearing it, watching it turn into a little pupa. And yesterday it merged as an adult. That video is coming soon. Now I mentioned that I'm gonna be doing some new series, but I wanna give a little background. Last week I posted a video where I described some of the challenges I'm facing with YouTube's new advertiser friendly policy. It's basically political correctness on steroids and it's making it really difficult for me to continue doing my YouTube channel in the future. So many of you had suggestions to do a Patreon, different things like that. Many of you helped support my Amazon affiliate link. Sales went way up on that, so thank you. But what I'm talking about that's so frustrating is how this advertiser friendly policy has affected me. I mentioned I had over 40 of my videos reclassified as not appropriate anymore. And the most frustrating thing for me is how this process has worked so far initially and even some of the appeal processes. It's really concerning to me what YouTube is considering appropriate and not appropriate. Some specific examples are pretty much they're flagging most of my videos that have the word mousetrap in them, even live animal mousetraps. Now there's a process where you can ask to have it reviewed by an actual person because this initial thing is just an algorithm. It's a computer generated filter that's just going through and flagging all the videos and basically you're guilty until proven innocent. So an actual human being has to double check and in most cases the computer was wrong. In some cases YouTube is crazy and the actual person working at YouTube is uh, considering my videos inappropriate. And the one that I take the most personal is they actually censored my YouTube trailer. I explained that I'm into flint napping, primitive survival skills, hunting with ancient weapons, and cutting up wild meat. It was flagged by YouTube algorithm, double checked by an actual person working at YouTube, and basically they confirmed that my channel, my personal values, my lifestyle, the things I like to work on, teach other people is not considered appropriate and that is really frustrating. So I'm trying to figure out how to move forward with these new crazy YouTube standards and what I've decided is pretty much the mousetrap videos are what fund all the other videos. The other videos are interesting but they don't get near the views as the mousetrap videos so I need to find a way to continue making money off of those and I was laying in bed I just was so frustrated couldn't think of what to do and then an idea popped into my mind. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce you to this. This is Snowflake, the finger mouse puppet. It's ridiculous, but so is this political correctness. So we're gonna meet this ridiculous standard by making fun of it. So people give me a hard time in the comment section for posting Mousetrap Monday videos on Sunday. Well, I'm introducing you to a whole new series. It's gonna be called Snowflake Sunday. This mouse is gonna be named Snowflake. And basically, I'm gonna load two versions of each Mousetrap video. One, I'm gonna show you how it works with a finger puppet mouse. And then on Monday, I'm gonna load actual Mousetrap Monday videos where I'm free from the political correctness because I'm not gonna monetize. I'll probably age restrict them myself. That way YouTube won't come in and censor them. And that way I'm free to really show you how the mouse traps work. So same video, Sunday for Snowflake Sunday, it's gonna be a finger puppet going in there. Just like this, that should be safe for YouTube to have the mouse go in, the trap goes off and no actual animals are killed. The thumbnails are gonna have a puppet mouse instead of a real mouse. Then on Mouse Trap Mondays, we're gonna show what I've always been showing and we're gonna be free from the shackles of political correctness. So if you wanna see some humor and a version of the videos that are more politically correct and making fun of YouTube, tune in on Sundays. You'll see an exact same version of the trap only being used on real animals on Monday. Mouse Trap Mondays, Snowflake Sundays and I think we can have a lot of fun with this and I'm only going to be able to monetize the Sunday video so if you watch those that will help out my channel and then enjoy a Monday free from being censored. The first video we're going to feature Snowflake is on the Botfly video which I'm going to load probably tomorrow so I hope you enjoy it and I'd love to hear ideas of how we can make fun of political correctness with a finger puppet mouse and I think there's a lot of material there we can do I have a feeling this puppet's going to be stuck in a lot of different traps and scenarios and it's going to be fun. 
So hopefully you guys enjoy the new series. We'll see if we can work around this political correctness and continue to grow the fan base and the channel. Thank you so much for your support and hopefully you enjoy watching Snowflake review Mousetraps and enjoy Mousetrap Monday. For Mousetrap Monday, I've been wanting to do a montage of all the traps. YouTube does not like that. So I'm gonna age restrict it, not monetize it, and you're gonna get a montage of every trap that I've ever done. So hopefully you enjoy that. Mousetrap Mondays, we're gonna have a lot more freedom to post what we want. And Snowflake Sundays are gonna have a lot more humor, silly scenarios where a finger puppet reviews mouse traps. Should be fun. Please give me ideas in the comment section. Let me know if you think this will work. And thank you for your support.